It's the Wayne County Football Show with Marshall Wood and head football coach Jack Hankins. Brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank. All the information you need for Wayne County football. Welcome aboard, one and all, to our show tonight. Coach Hankins, trust you're doing well. It's uh, February, and with each passing week, we're getting closer to more football, but it, it never really stops, does no, it? No, it never stops. We've got a ton to do. We've got to get these War Eagles. We've got to get them big, bigger and stronger and faster, Marshall. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with a with a with a curveball right off the bat. Uh -oh. Can you hit a curve? I, I used to could. <laughs> Recruiting is about winding up. You know, uh, has there been some activity, not asking for any details or anything, but have you had any recruiting activity going on? We, we have, uh, and I don't mind telling you, we've got uh, two guys that we had this year probably going to sign a JUCO scholarship. Um, at this point of our recording, they're, they're still kind of up in there where they're going to go, but right now it looks like uh, Billy Cooley and it looks like um, McCarr McCall is going to sign and they're okay. going to be able to, to – you know, further their career. So yeah. we'll know Wednesday, and uh, I know um, they're deciding on where they're going and, you know, if they're going to commit or not. So those, those are two guys that will get a chance to do that. You know, I always hope some might sign late. You know, yeah. we've got a lot, of, a lot of good guys here and a lot of guys at Wayne County. But, um, you know, I tell you what's picking up, Not and since you threw me that curve, oh. our recruiting um, is really picking up for our 23 or, you know, our 22 years or our 23 seniors. That is – Boy, since I've been here, they've been dark the door, won't know about our, you know, our our rising seniors, yeah. you know, the juniors we have now, which yeah. will be seniors in the twenty two season yeah. this year, and that's that's been that's been really wild. That's picked up. It's funny you mention that. I, I bet we've had six coaches come in just this last week on some of our juniors, which yeah. are seniors to be. So, right. um, right. you know, got those two guys going to sign on Wednesday. You know, national signing right. day that first Wednesday in February, and then. Uh, you know, of course, you don't ever know, but but recruiting has definitely picked up. Had several several college coaches um, from other places come in and looking at our upcoming guys as well. So I'm excited for all our guys. You know, mm -hmm. you, you play at Wayne County, Wayne County for the War Eagles. You play football here. You got a chance to, you know, get your grades right. You do right. You got a chance to to get out of here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to go somewhere and do something with yourself. And. Um, yeah. I'm excited for all our kids, especially the ones, you know, people come in and ask about. There's you some know, great kids here. Well, you know, it's a great anticipation, too, because you, you hit that question. I, I was sitting here waiting to ask that, and mm -hmm. you, you, you got it. But uh, I'm excited about it. You know, like you said, we've had some great ones come through here. But, you, you know, and that gets back to something that you stressed that you stepped on the, onto the campus here, academics in got the classroom. To. And we hit that, and, and we can't emphasize that enough. But anyway – we're excited. Let's let's uh, you know over the course of the past couple of shows, we've been talking about your staff. We've been over all your coaches by position, their duties and responsibilities. But now, I want to try this approach, and it may be something we can do. But we'll. Are we'll you throwing me another curveball? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, let's turn our attention to game game uh, to the game week day by day, and I'm going to start. Okay. I'm going to start at the, what some people would probably say the end. And, we, you know, we're going to – instead of beginning with the end in mind, we're going to begin with the end. And, right. you know, uh, the final buzzer sounds on Friday night and the game is over. You know, what, what happens with the coaching staff and the players? What are the responsibilities and duties of, of each coach or whoever from the time the final buzzer sounds – Till all are gone Friday night. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> is anything? <laughs> I think I think a little bit happens. Uh, so Friday night after the game, of course we go in and and after a victory, I, I believe you know, we try to celebrate with our team. You yeah. know, I think it's they get a lot of fun out of that because it's it's a reward. It's payday for a, for a long week of work. Yeah. Um, and so we we get to generally celebrate with our team. But I tell you, the the biggest thing we do after the game is, is we as coaches we we I'll have duty as far as cleaning up, putting up, helping our guys. But the biggest thing we do is we try to assess injuries with, with Jason Sehan. We want to see who's hurt, who's injured. You know, we want to be sure if, if they're injured, you know, we need to get them seen Saturday at the ortho. If they're hurt, well, we need to meet them up here Saturday morning and let's ice and let's start treatment Saturday morning. So if you can start it, the sooner you can start it after that game, you know. You know, who's leaving with ice? Is it a bump? Is it a bruise? Yeah. Is it something more serious? Will it affect the game plan for next week? Um, and we assess all that. Why? 
while it may be while we're push brooming and, and coach, you know, one of the coaches may be cleaning up the floor and other coaches are getting the laundry started. And when, you, when you're washing for 100 folks, it gets long. And we, <laughs> we try to start that. On top of that, we'll try to – and we'll start at some point. And some we watch the whole thing. Hopefully there's no technical difficulties. But uh, we'll, we'll start the film and we'll start – as a staff, we'll start – Watching the film, not on Friday night. Uh, we will not in, incredibly meticulous, but we will start watching and we will pick our interest. If there's something we want to see, if, if there's an alignment issue, if there's mm -hmm. something, you know, like I said, it may be an injury play we can look at and try to better assess what's going on. But uh, we've set up here many hours uh, watching film, and and as the season gets going, I don't mind telling you this, you know, kind of you get to playoff time, kind of that last seven, eight, nine, ten. You kind of watching the news. You want to see real quick who won and who lost. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Kind of see where everything falls. You yeah. know, kind of see what's happening. But Friday night after the game's over it gets to be be kind of long, but yeah. um, it, it, it's worth it. But the but the main thing is you got to make sure our players are okay. We got to make sure there's no surprises in the game plan. Right. Right. Well, let's roll over to Saturday. Is a Saturday. I'm sure. I'm gonna be surprised if there's a day off in here anywhere. But what about Saturday? What happens with you? All right, so in your staff Saturday's a huge fam watching day for everybody involved. Okay, Saturday we'll watch the fam individually, Marshall, and you're really great. Uh, let's just take Coach Moore for example. We just talked to him a while ago. He, he'll he'll sit there and grade everything about the running back. He'll say, "Well, that's easy. They had a good night. Had a hundred. No, that's not it. You know, how did he pass block? Did he hit the right hole? Did he take the right steps? You know, did he have the correct arm up?" So we're watching our positions, and we're watching to make sure our guy, kind of grading our guys. Mm -hmm. And we're watching, we're seeing, and we do a lot of this in the spring. I know you didn't ask me about spring training. We do a ton of this in the spring, almost on a daily manner. But um, we we wanted to evaluate our positions and see how we did. Um, you know, again, what was the guy coachable? Did he do the right thing? If he's a linebacker, did he take the right read steps? You know, was he in the right spot? You know, if we gave up a touchdown pass, why did we give up a touchdown pass? Mm -hmm. So. Saturday, you know, with with huddle and the way things, and I say huddle, I don't know, that's our film viewing platform. Right. It's all internet based now. Yeah. I remember getting up when I was a kid at two and three in the morning, going play with my dad, sh swapping film, and the, what was the old fifteen, what was the millimeter film, you Yo, know, sixteen, sixteen yes, millimeter sir. film, and I remember watching that and watching it at home and doing all that, and that's of course that's great memories. But now you don't have to. Do, everything's on your tablet. Everything's on your phone. You know, I it's remember amazing. several years ago, it hadn't been that long ago, uh, I was standing out here one Friday night and the game was over and there was a guy uh, from South Panola, which is a long way from sure. here, that had driven down here to get the film. We were playing so, you know, on a Friday night. You know, so yeah. but that that sure saves you. I've been on, I've been my dad, I've been on I've been on it Saturday some as a head coach, I've been on it some Saturdays we'd get up and we'd we'd go across the whole state getting fam on people, but Man, the huddle system and that's it, it's changed the way you watch film and get film. Yeah, you talked about the spring and and you know studying and seeing what they were doing and correcting those things. I imagine this is I guess in the springtime when you're studying that film, you really you really a lot more teaching. But in the fall, maybe is it more of a correct a correct. It thing? is. It's, it's teaching slash correcting. You're mm -hmm. absolutely right. We have to correct mistakes and we have to move on because. You know, the next, the next opponent's waiting to hit us in the mouth, you know. <laughs> and we're Wayne County. We're going to get everybody's best game. Yes, sir. Well, speaking of the game, we're going to have to take a little time out right here from a couple of our sponsors. And so we're going to be right back after this break with Coach Jack Hankins and more War Eagle football. All right, I'll Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, extreme guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. 
Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located at 1510 SLU Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Welcome back, everyone. So we've made it. We've made it through half of the show in two days. <laughs> so let's move on down to Sunday, Coach, and uh, let's see what happens on all right, Sunday. Sunday's a big day for us. Sunday we'll meet. Um, of course, we'll encourage all of our staff to go to church wherever they go. But we'll we'll meet at two o'clock. And uh, I'm telling you, at two o'clock, we're we're assessing. We're breaking down film. Sunday's a big day. Big day. We're breaking down as a as a group as a staff our game from Friday night. And we're also getting prepared for our upcoming game for the coming Friday night. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that's all said and done we, and we correct mistakes as a staff, Marshall, we really turn our focus to our opponent, what they do well, you know, what we can pick up from them. And, and that's all happened individually now on Saturday. So you bring your ideas to the table. We go into it. Um, Saturday's probably a much longer film watching day than Sunday, but Sunday is when we get all our coaches together. We get everybody on the same page. We get everybody on the same wagon. We're going the same direction, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. You know, hey, this is the game plan. This is what we want to attack. This is what we want to do. This is what you got to do as a secondary coach. This is what you got to do as as O-line coach. This is what we want to fix. And, you know, talk about our plan for the week now. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we get into. Mm -hmm. Sunday we plan for our upcoming opponent and plan for the week. Okay. And uh, we're going to have a plan for that, which – you probably start in implementing that plan or the instruction thereof on Monday. Absolutely. <laughs> on, on Monday, we bring the guys in, and we always we lift weights and watch film first, Marshall. We're going to still stay strong. We're going to lift. We're going to watch film. And basically what we're doing when we go out, we're going to hit special teams hard on Monday, but we're going to install our game plan with our guys for that Friday. Do you hit on Monday? Uh, we will end up hitting some, not, not, not incredibly a lot, because Monday's more of a, a, a thinking day because you got to remember um, – some Mondays we're going to play our JV and our freshman game. So Mondays you, you kind of – you don't have a ton of time, but you really want to install your game plans. And, and Marshall, you, you, the main thing is getting lined up right. If we're on defense, we got to line up right to their sets. We spend a ton of time on alignment. You know, our guys can play football, and our guys can play football really well if we're lined up right. Right. You know, but if we're lined up wrong, it don't matter if we have 15 Jarrell Pose over there. If we're lined up wrong, it, it really don't matter because they're going to have an advantage. So we want to be sure we line up right. We're real strong on that. Let, let's let's line up right. Let's do the right thing assignment wise. Mm -hmm. um, and then moving to Tuesday, you ask about hitting Tuesday is our big physical <laughs> day. Tuesday we're gonna we go we go best on best to start the day with best on best red zone. You know, and we'll go best on best on inside drill and we're. We're working. Tuesday's a huge work day. It's Y'all go at this like really, really hard. Oh work. yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. It's a really, really fast. It's a really hard work day. Um, Tuesday's our physical day. Not incredibly long, but incredibly tough. Tuesday's we're 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 trying to hit their best plays right in the mouth. 
we're trying to you know take our O line and we're trying to block our best plays on how they're going to line up mm -hmm. and we're we're getting after it physical. Um, so so Wednesday you come back in and Wednesday we're probably in shells. Another huge emphasis on special teams that day, but as well, um, Marshall, we're now we've had two days of this week's assignment. So mm -hmm. now we really should be. <sighs> We should be fine tuning what we should be doing. There shouldn't be any mistakes. First two days are there are mistakes. Mm -hmm. we, there shouldn't be any mistakes. There shouldn't be any mistakes to if they do this motion and go, you know, three to one or three to two or however they motion or back out of the back. You know, everything should be clean. Yeah. And um, we're we're doing a lot of a lot of team stuff on Wednesday. I want to I want to stop you and I apologize for that, but I I don't know if I got sense enough to ask this question like like I want to, but. Okay, let's just look at the team and, and the practice and, and what you're trying to accomplish as a whole. You come into the season in that set. I guess, say at 100%, when you got everything like you wanted at about 100%, what kind of percentage do you have to fool with? Is it a, is it a 5% deal? Is this making sense what I'm trying to ask? How much change do you implement apart from the ordinary, what you, what you call your bread and butter on a weekly basis? On a weekly basis, Schedule wise, there's not a ton of change at all. Now, once we with what you're coaching and okay. what you're changing up on the on the field with the players. Well, all right. Well, once we meet Sunday, and I tell our guys, don't don't come in here Wednesday with a great idea and let's change up a thousand <laughs> things. I, I'm being, okay. Let me tell you, we we have to we we work by repetition so we get it right so we can't get it wrong. There you go. Um, so no, we we're not gonna come in here. Okay, Wednesday, Marshall. Well, let's change it. Now, look, if we see Monday is bad, you know, we should know, as I said, we should know if this isn't going to work or not. You know what I'm saying? Now, will there be things we tweak? Yeah, there will be some minor things we tweak, a small percentage. But, yeah. no, we're not going to come in here and have any big changes on Wednesday when we play on Friday because you don't have one day to work on it. Because <laughs> okay. we tell our coaches, one, we're never going to get on our kids because we didn't teach them something. If we didn't teach them, that's our, that's our fault as a staff. Yeah. that We, we should be responsible for that. But, two – Man, if, if you teach them something, you better start working on it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. You, you can't come in here and oh, we all going to work on it one day. I mean, yeah. that, that doesn't – some places can probably do that a lot better than we can or than I can. In my 26 years of experience, that usually has been a, a negative thing. We come in there and had big changes on a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. It's, kids get – comfortable with routine and familiarity. I do too. I mean, you know, <laughs> the older I get especially. That's right. Now that and that's and now Friday, I know we're kinda of skipping Thursday, but now Friday, that's that's where we as a staff should should be able to make adjustments and change and be able to communicate this to our kids. That that's you know, that that's where we should kind of make a difference in the football game if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. You know and that's for my press box guys and I and I know we'll go over that, but um um, Thursdays, and I, I know I'm jumping backwards, but on Let's Thursdays, Let's Thursdays is, is a quick day, Marshall. I get them out of there. You know, it, it's been a long week. Thursdays, their early day. They get a, they get a chance Thursday to be a student. If they can yeah. go to tutor and they can go to tutor after school, that they get a chance to be a normal person on Thursday. Yeah. So we get them gone usually by the time school's over. We go out there for an hour, hour and a half, and we just polish it. We're in shorts. There should be no mistakes on Thursday. There should be an intensity. There should be an effort. You know, it's kind of like you don't want to peak too high. You know, because you can't win the game on Monday. Right. You know, I made that mistake. I've had kids sky high on a Monday before. Back when I was younger, and I thought you had you can't win the game on Monday. Oh, you can't win the game on Monday. You know, you kind of want to start start here, and and, you, and your intensity and your and everything kind of gradually rises, so you peak on a Friday night. You coach for that. That's right. Yeah. You do. I mean, it's kind of like uh, shaking up a. a, a 20 ounce bottle of, of Mountain Dew. Yeah. We can't shake it up and open the top on Monday. You know, we flat want, come Friday. That's right. <laughs> bath flat. We want to shake that baby. We want to open that baby at 7 o'clock on Friday that's and let it just be everywhere. But, um, well, you know, that's you got to you, you do have to coach for that and you have to plan for that. Yeah. Because let me tell you, on bigger games, we're playing uh, Laurel or West Jones or Hattiesburg. They're, they're, I, I, don't, I know you want to treat everybody the same and we stress that. But now I know and you know. Laurel, our guys are going to get a little bit more pumped by playing Laurel than they are South Jones. Yeah, yeah. Not that any one of them is any less or more. They count the same in the rate. But let me tell you something. They, there's a little bit more excitement when yeah. you step on that field. you got to be sure you don't get too high too soon. I got you. But, um, well, Coach, I, I tell you what, 
you know, we're, we're, at, we're at it again. The horn's about to blow, so we got to go. But first, remember to follow War Eagle Football on Facebook at, at, you guessed it, War Eagle Football, and on YouTube at Wayne County High School War Eagle Football, and, of course, WABO 105.5. Coach, we appreciate you taking your time with us, but for right now, Wayne County High School War Eagle Football, we out. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, extreme guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Thanks for listening to Wayne County Football Show, brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank.